disconnected. Even though it's not disconnected. It's frustrating. Because 80% of the time I wake up in the morning and I turn that monitor on and everything shifts around and all my windows are in the wrong spot. And apparently there's no way to fix it because it's, it uses DisplayPort. Does Twitch still do the thing where if you run an ad break on purpose, then it, like, prevents everybody from getting an ad for a certain amount of time? I remember they said that, but I feel like it's not unlikely that they just cancelled that since then. Due to everything that's been happening. I just looked at the button in my dashboard that says run ad break. And I realized that I never actually pressed that button. Because there's no reason to. But then I remembered there is a reason to, maybe. It's to prevent people from getting an ad in the middle of the run. Twenty minutes? That's not even that's not even long enough. <laughs> Do an ad right before I start a run and you'd still get an ad in the middle. Well, there's that idea. Mid rolls can't happen automatically unless you're using an ad blocker. How do they work by default then? Is there a button that says, please watch this mid roll ad and you have to click it? What if you just never click it? I didn't even know there was an option to disable it. Huh. Does that mean everybody that's been complaining about mid-rolls? Or... Every channel that has had mid-rolls playing that people have been complaining about specifically turned it on. Oh, I guess, yeah, okay, forgot about that. Could be the ad block too. Although, I don't know.
Just wait for the ad block, block, block. Yeah, it makes sense that they're trying their best to combat the ad block. It's <laughs> kind of, uh, I wonder how much time and effort they're putting into that because it's inevitable that it will get countered eventually. <laughs> Marcelo, thanks for the good luck. <clears throat> for me, I don't care about adblock. Like, I use adblock, but I also don't care if people use adblock on my stuff. If I want to support somebody, then I'll, like, specifically do it. Oh, first, are you kidding me? Thug, thanks for the good luck. Yum. Would render ad block useless. That's what you think. Somehow it'll happen. Just like piracy for popular movies and software and stuff. Like, it might be a, a matter of time, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> Keeping a close eye on the discussion on on GitHub for uBlock Origin. Well, then it'll just be a forever back and forth fight. Don't fly over the level.
Yo, cash flow. It's going great. Just playing some Mario. Fast. Or at least trying to go fast. <clears throat> Happy Friday Eve. Ooh, the backup. Every day is Friday Eve. Except Tuesday. Tuesday is weekend Wednesday Eve. <laughs> Best wings all day. About to be ruined by terrible clip. Watch. And now I really have to pee. That's good. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, I don't have the shell. Hopefully I don't get footballed here. It's really hard to get footballed when I have a cape. It's more of an issue with no cape category. Rather be in the blue switch palace because it has two P switches. <laughs> can, I, can I flip the P switch off? Ah, I tried to go for the 61 and I failed. On and on forever. Wow. 
Alright, this is a decent split. I lost time in that level by missing the block and in Star World 2, but save most of the time that I can save here. Probably like eight, 19 seconds. Yump. Even got a yump. This is more like 17. The heck? Did I lose all the time? Oh, I guess it could just be the route. Because my PB does the stupid route where I get the feather in this level instead, <laughs> instead of going to DP3. So I guess maybe that route saved a couple seconds. <laughs> Assuming that that split was good, too. Or... I don't know. Oh, I went in the pipe! I didn't want to go in there. All right. Good time loss from going in the pipe. Ugh. I really wish that Lack 2 was not annoying in that level. <laughs> well, losing a little bit of time here, too. I realized that like most of the time on the overworld, since I don't mash the overworld, I try to time it. I realized that I like blink every time Mario steps on a tile. Because <laughs> I use that to time it, I guess. I only realized that a little bit ago. Ugh. Losing time on easy split. Again, <laughs> it's such like a subconscious thing. I don't even realize it. Oh, there, I just did it again. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god, I can't stop. I did it again entering the level, too. Goodness. What was that move? Going to Yoshi's Island 1, doing the glitch. So if you look at the top in the blue box, there's a glitchy item. And that is the green question mark orb that you find at the end of Ghost Ship level. And I can use that to skip a level. Basically it just beats the level instantly when I touch it. Dang it. Whoa. And I use that specifically to skip the really long auto scroller really long auto scroller level coming up.
Throughout the run, I use four of them. I skip the first castle, the second castle, the auto-scroller in World 2, and then this auto-scroller, which is up next after this castle. The castles mainly get skipped because when you use this orb to beat the level, it doesn't play the cutscene afterward, and that's where most of the time save comes from. And the auto scrollers I skip because they <laughs> they take forever, really long levels. The sad thing though is, especially for Butterbridge One, this level coming up next, it doesn't even save that much time because it's so out of the way. Like you have to go all the way back to World One to get the orb. So like most of the time is eaten up by just going and getting the orb in the first place. I guess that's more true for all switches. In this category, you're already going back to the yellow switch. Yeah, exactly what Left just said. I'm already going back to the yellow switch anyway, so might as well get an orb on there. Where'd I lose all that time? I just... Falling off the dolphin. Ta-da. That level usually takes like two minutes. <laughs> oh, I had fast line. I got rid of it. Okay, I got it back instantly. Hey, Noel. Venom. Orb. That orb. It's funny because. The sprite for the orb is tile set specific in that like it only shows up correctly in levels that have the graphic loaded for the orb. But Butterbridge 1 just happens to have the graphics for it, so it actually shows up correctly. Most levels it's like a glitchy blob. Switch to fire. Yo, Mega Scott. Doing good, how about you? Lost more time, what the heck? Are the spikes that we're moving down objects? The second room in this castle? The floor is on layer one and the ceiling is on layer two. The background, which is the castle, like the window tiles in the background, those are objects. No, 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 they're on layer three. Never mind, not objects. The windows in the background of the boss fight are objects. Because there is only one layer in that screen, because it's in mode seven. Oh, buddy. Get out of this mode, I don't like that. That was a clutch backup, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what an FY1, dude. <laughs> Th 
the double save. Of course I get that. Oh my god. That is, uh... It might be subpixels, I'm not sure. I think it might just also be a I suck thing. It might be... I want to say it's frame perfect to do that, to like, land on Yoshi before you even get to the corner. But I feel like that it would happen more often if that were the case. I'm gonna PB <laughs> with the crazy FY1. <laughs> Incredible. I'll take it. Now I can run against different splits finally. <laughs> I was I was worried when I said that because the it was so tight that like if I miss the switch, which is totally possible, that I could have lost enough time. <laughs> 